Hello students, let's continue our journey through Algebraic expressions and identities Let's take the expression 8 plus x Here is a number 8 called a constant and a variable x that are connected by the mathematical operator plus So 8 and x are called the terms of the given expression. That is, terms are single mathematical expressions that are being added or subtracted. Then what will be called the things being multiplied or divided? Yes, we call it factors. That is, a factor is a number or a variable multiplied to another number or a variable in the term. So in the expression 5x, there is only one term 5x, and the factors are 5 and x. Here, 5 is multiplied by the variable x, so 5 is called the numerical coefficient of x. In the expression, 3x minus 4y, 3x and 4y are the terms. The factors in 3x are 3 and x, the factors in 4y are 4 and y and the numerical coefficient of x and y are 3 and 4, respectively. Let's see some terms here. 2x, 13x, minus 5x square, 8y, 9xy, minus 12y square, minus 13x square, minus 3yx. Can you classify these terms as having the same variable and the same power? Yes, of course. In the term 2x, the variable x has the power 1. Can you find a similar term here? Yes, in 13x, the variable x has the power 1. The terms minus 5x square and minus 13x square contain the variable x having the power 2. The term 8y has the variable y with power 1. The terms 9xy and minus 3yx having two variables x and y with powers 1 each. In the term minus 12y square, the variable y having power 2. But there is no other term having variable y with power 2. So by grouping these terms, 2x and 13x are the terms having the same variable with the same power. These terms are called like terms. Like that minus 5x square, minus 13x square, and 9xy, minus 3yx are also like terms. But minus 12y square and 8y, 2x and minus 3yx, 13x and minus 5x square, etc. are not like terms, because their variables or powers are different, that is they are unlike terms. The like terms can be added or subtracted together. But the unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted together. For example, 2x plus 13x equals 15x. 17xy minus 5xy equals 12xy. But the addition of 46xy and 6x square is not possible because the variables are different in each terms. That is 46xy and 6x square are unlike terms. On the basis of several terms, expressions have some classifications. Look at these expressions. 7x x minus 3y square 2y plus 3x minus z 18y square a plus b plus c 
for x plus 2y. In 7x, there is only one term. In x minus 3y square, there are two terms. In 2y plus 3x minus z, there are three terms. In 18y square, there is one term. In a plus b plus c, there are three terms. And in 4x plus 2y, there are two terms. If the expression is having only one term, it is called a monomial. So 7x and 18y square are monomials. If the number of terms is 2, they are called binomial. That is, x minus 3y square and 4x plus 2y are binomials. If the number of terms is 3, they are called trinomials. That is 2y plus 3x minus z and a plus b plus c are trinomials. In general, an expression containing one or more terms with non-zero coefficient and non-negative integer exponentiation of variables is called a polynomial. A polynomial may contain any number of terms, one or more than one. So a monomial, binomial, and trinomial are polynomials. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed terms, factors, coefficients, like terms, unlike terms, monomials, binomials, trinomials, and polynomials. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Classify the following polynomials as monomials, binomials, and trinomials. P plus Q plus R 5 minus B 10 2Y plus 7Z plus 9 AD minus AB That's all for now. See you all in the next class.